Good morning, everyone in sports. Welcome to week seven of the Friday Night Frenzy on a Saturday morning. I'm Stan Pamphilis along with Luke Nokstein. And Luke, we thought we were going to get some really heavy rains and get all uh, rained out, but it didn't happen. Yeah, we actually stayed dry for the most part last night. And that was especially helpful for one of the big games of the year every year, of course, Asheville and Reynolds, part of the Great American Rivalry Series. People in the mountains can vouch for that. Two of the best teams in the area going head to head. Really, and what a matchup it was. We didn't feel a single raindrop at R.L. Dalton Stadium and the players, and we were very thankful. Let's go to the first quarter. A.J. Logan gets the call and finds the end zone for the first touchdown of the game. Rockets lead 7-0 just like that, and they were really just warming up, and the fans had a lot to cheer about for the home team last night. A few minutes later, still in that first quarter, Rico Dowdle scores his first touchdown of the game. One of his best is the quarterback of the Rockets, 14-0 Reynolds. And boy, did Dowdle perform well. Fast forward to the second quarter now and more of the same. It's Dowdle again, this time going right up the middle. Rockets offensive line oh, spectacular. And Dowdle just could not be stopped. 21 0 Rockets and the route was on. But the Cougars would finally get on the scoreboard later in the second quarter when Reggie battled one of the better, better backs in the area, muscles his way in, but nothing would come easily for Asheville. Friday night. Then with about nine minutes left in the first half, Dowdle makes one of the best runs of the night, weaving in and out of traffic and essentially beating the entire Cougars secondary. Dowdle scores six touchdowns, 247 yards. Reynolds beats Asheville big, 54 to 21. Wow. I don't think anybody saw that coming. Wow. Not like that. Wow. <laughs> we had another show down in the WNCAC, Pisgah versus Franklin. Now, both won their league openers. Franklin with a huge advantage playing a home game, they thought. Right. But the Reigns negated that. Panthers had to move the game to the turf field at beautiful stadium at Cherokee High School. Panthers said, tonight this is our home. Pisgah with the ball on their opening drive, and the Bears turn it over. That leads to this, the touchdown run by Jackson Perrone. Nice play fake and turns around and goes the other way. Also some misdirection on the other side of things. Houston Rogers faked the hands off, keeps it, scores 7-7 seven seven as Pisgah scores. Here comes Franklin now. Watch this. Kelton Lowry makes a step outside. He missed last week of the concussion. Didn't show last night. 60 yards in the touchdown. Boy. But then the coup de grace <laughs> in the end zone. They think they got a touchdown, but no. Lowry steps in front and watch him go 105 yards the other way. A little shake and bake action. Big win for Franklin as they get it 21 to seven. What a run by Kelton Lowry. All right, let's go to Inca last night where the battle of the West Buncombe County team's two big rivals story of the first half defense. Fourth and two, Damian Ferguson to Quentin Latreria Smith popped and stopped by Bryson Buckner. This game was scoreless at halftime. Unbelievable, but second half, Irwin just had too many weapons. Third quarter, Ferguson to Isaiah Poor. Strong run. He pushes his way in for six. Seven nothing, Irwin. That was the first score of the game. Stayed that way until the fourth when Ferguson rolls out, points to his receiver, CJ Thompson. He got the memo, makes wow. the catch. Ooh, great move there. Ankle breaker. 14 0 Irwin. And that combo worked so well on that play that they do it again later in the fourth quarter. This time on the slant play, Ferguson to Thompson. Boy, there it is. And Irwin goes on to shut out Inca. Your final score, 20 to 0. All right, one of the area's top teams made the trip down to Black Mountain last night. We're talking about Mitchell, ranked number six in the state in 1A. They went on to take on Owen. Warhorses won their first game just the week before for right. their new coach, Nathan Padgett. And they were hoping the home field would give them a chance at the upset. They were ready for it. Things didn't start off too well for them, though. Demarcus Harper picked off by Caleb Street while on his back. Oh, wow. Tough interception. There you go. Braxton to Handen makes them pay up the middle, and he stretches into the end zone. Six nothing point after, no good. Same song, different verse. Harper picked off again by Solomon Duncan. A great over the shoulder grab. Makes a nice run down the sidelines. Mitchell goes to the counter. Caleb Blakeaster takes it in. Two point conversion, no good. 14 nothing, Mitchell. Owen, though, is going to fight back behind Sidney Gibbs, a sophomore back. Goes straight up the middle, puts the War Horses on the board 14 to 7. He had a big night with 178 yards and three touchdowns, but it was Mitchell beating Owen 42 to 20. Another big game in the WHC, Mountain Heritage hosting Polk, but the game moved to the turf field at North Buncombe. A little misty in Weaverville, but the teams were ready, even if the fans weren't. Kirk Cougars on the move, second quarter. They've got it on the 12, and Dalton Robinson takes it up the middle, breaks a bunch of tackles, and sticks it into the end zone. And that's 6-0 Mountain Heritage. A little bit later, Heritage goes through the air. Trey Robinson, perfect throw. What a bomb to Alston Randolph, who catches it in stride. 49-yard touchdown, 12-0 Mountain Heritage. Then just a couple of seconds before <laughs> halftime, Polk has it on the Heritage 33. Jamal Wheeler. 
Quarterback draw. What a move there. He goes all the way. Couple of moves bouncing to the outside. Boy, oh boy. Mountain Heritage would score a late touchdown, though, and they win by one, 26 to 25 over Polk. All right, other games played last night. Swain at Hazel. Maroon Devils blow the Yellow Jackets out 43-15. In Rutherford County, Chase falls to Crest, but East Rutherford edges Burns 21-20. RS Central Idol. Thomas Jefferson plays Saturday afternoon against the Carolina Crusaders. Let's check out the games that weren't played and when they will be rescheduled. Yeah, so some games move to Monday. North Buncombe at McDowell, they'll play at 7, and so do Hendersonville at Madison and Rosman at Andrews. Robbinsville at Murphy kick off at 7.30. East Henderson at North Henderson play Monday at 6. And then Smoky Mountain at West starts at 7. What a kind of a strange sort of limited week, but we've got more games coming up on Monday. Thank goodness. Yeah, it should be fun. <laughs> All right, that's it for us this morning. Stay dry, stay safe, have a great weekend. See ya.